video, I am going to show you how to use the true function in Google Sheets. So true is a pretty simple function that just returns the logical value of true to yourself. Um, so I'll just show you how to use it. The basic syntax, um, there's not really any arguments, it's just uh, true. So this equals the logical value of true. Usually you can actually just type true also and Google will convert that to the logical value of true. So um, true has a numeric value also of one. So just to show you uh, what that looks like, if I just add true and true together, see it results in two because true has a numerical value of one. So um, you might not know at first why you would want to even use this function, what are its uses. Well, the function isn't used by itself very often. It's most often used in conjunction with other logical functions, such as if, or, and, if error, is an a, or other logical functions. Um, so I'll just show you how to use that with if, for example. So if I want to use the true function with the if function, I will just do that. So if this cell is greater than 95, let's just return true. So you can see it returns true in the instance of this logical expression being true and then false if this is false. So that's one way that it's kind of useful because by specifying this function as what you are returning with the if, you can automatically return true or false depending on the outcome of this expression. So that's one way it's used. You can also use it with or and if. So just to do this, we're gonna do an if and or. So if this is less than 50, this less than 50, this is less than 50. Then let's do a true. So you can see this does the same thing. Um, now I'm checking all these conditions and if any one of them is um, false, it's gonna end up returning false. So that is one way it's used. Another way that you might wanna use it is with error functions such as if error is an A. So just to set up this, I'm going to do an if error. If this is an error, uh, let's return true. Don't know what happened there. Let me just set that up again. So if it's an error, let's return true. And then if it's not an error, it's just going to return the value here. So that's another way it's used is with these error functions just to return true for errors. That is another way you might want to use it. Um, so this is a useful function to learn. It's probably not something you're going to use day to day, but it's still useful to know when and how to use it. So that's why I made this video. As always, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.